Taking another live look outside this evening, we are once again dealing with extreme heat. Temperatures in many places climbing into the upper 90s. CBS 2 meteorologist Mary Kay Kleist joins us again from the First Alert Weather Center. And it is a hot one heading into this evening. So far at Midway, that's been our hot spot. 101 degrees for a high temperature. 98 degrees for the high Valparaiso. 98 degrees Joliet. 99 McHenry. Officially at O'Hare, this hasn't updated just yet, but our high so far 99 degrees. We're standing at 98 and our low this morning was 73 degrees. So we are keeping the heat advisory in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. It does include the city of Chicago and most of our viewing area just because of the extreme heat that's in place because when you factor in the humidity, it feels like 105 for you in Joliet, 104 in Ottawa, 103 in Waukegan. Winds this afternoon have been pretty steady out of the southwest up to 33 miles per hour in Waukegan, 28 mile per hour winds in Gary. So when you get such a strong southwesterly wind component, that is holding off any lakefront cooling. Winnetka cover right now, 100 degrees is where you stand. Glenview 96 in Wheeling, we have 99. Usually those spots have the lakefront cooling, but certainly not today. And it is hot in the loop, 101 currently. Even Lincoln Park holding at 101, just like Midway. It is 97 in Bolingbrook. Romeoville 97 degrees and even Northwest Indiana is steaming 97 Valparaiso St. John and even into Munster. But there is a cold front on the way. Our skies are clear for the moment. The front, it's not well organized. It's sparking a few lightning strikes here in central Wisconsin, and we expect this front to move through around midnight. So as it gets closer to us, I think our chances for a thunderstorm would be maybe as far east as DeKalb. So here's 11 o'clock tonight. Night. This looks pretty impressive, but watch what happens during the midnight hour. Everything collapses and then by 1 a.m. We're just left with a stray shower or perhaps a rumble of thunder, mainly well to the west. And then we start to see drier air move in for Wednesday away from the lake. We'll have a dry northwesterly wind flow and right at the lakefront. We're going to have a little bit of lakefront cooling, so that will feel different tomorrow. Once this front drops through our area again, it looks like those rain chances tonight are very minimal. Best along the I-39 corridor and places to the west of there. But otherwise, it's still going to be warm tomorrow, but not so steamy. 87 for the high, 88 on Thursday. Heading into the weekend, we're tracking another front. It brings us scattered storms late day Saturday into Saturday night. Those should clear out in time for our parade on Sunday. 80 degrees and lower humidity. So that heat is with us through sunset tonight. So take it slow if you're out. Will do. Thanks, Mary Kay.